Can we sit down? No interruptions. Open dialogue without judging. Dope discussions. Dope discussions. Talking real raw. Ain't no cutting. Open dialogue without judging. Dope discussions. Dope discussions. All right, you guys, before we get into today's dope discussion, let me go ahead and make the disclaimer of I do not promote, condone, or tolerate cheating. I feel like if you are unfulfilled with your partner or your significant other, your husband, your wife, your lover, um, you guys need to go and seek some kind of professional help or seek counsel from maybe a, a couple that you guys trust or can confide in, you know, and if all this fails, go ahead and part ways, you know, go your separate ways is no use in putting each other through any emotional turmoil or anything of that sort. Okay. So I got to make that disclaimer. I do not promote cheating. However, I thought it would be very helpful for us to dive into some reasons as to why women cheat. Uh, on my platform, there's a lot of men that come to their little big sister, yours truly, for advice or just for insight on women and what is going on with us and why we do certain things. And so, again, I thought like this would be a very uh, dope, important, quick and easy, straight to the point dope discussion that we can all dive into. Now, the first reason that I have on my list as far as why a lot of women cheat is due to emotional stimulation. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. Okay. And what I mean by emotional stimulation is this. When it comes to women, it is, it can be, okay. It can be very easy for a man to tap into us on a mental and emotional level. And if a man is able to tap into us on those levels, the physical can be sure to follow. Um, this can happen if a man is maybe entertaining your woman and she's entertaining him back and maybe he's attractive or maybe he's very charismatic or maybe he um, is funny. You know, it, it could be so many different factors that can tie into a woman being emotionally stimulated. And if we feel comfortable enough with a man, we can start to open up and do things that maybe we otherwise wouldn't or shouldn't just because he's able to make us feel comfortable in that moment or comfortable enough to express ourselves or be a lot more vulnerable with him than maybe we should. Um, again, this can very much so happen with men at your woman's job because maybe he's around her a lot. Um, it could happen with uh, maybe a long time friend, you know, of your significant other, of your woman, you know, it just really depends on how close and on what kind of continuous basis she is able to be in close proximity with this man. And again, uh, this guy can be somebody that she views as somebody that is platonic, right? Um, it could start off to be very platonic, but again, it's only a matter of time before maybe certain emotions start to become a part of the equation. This is why it's very important for us to put up certain boundaries and not become too relaxed and open with um, discussing certain things with the opposite sex or letting them in on certain things concerning our relationships or our lives, because this can very well happen. You know, it starts off as maybe your woman just talking and chopping it up with this guy, maybe at lunch, you know, at work, or, or maybe just in passing, or maybe a text, you know, and then before you know it, you're on the phone. And then before you know it, you're constantly, you know, exchanging ideas and 
thoughts and dialogue on an ongoing basis. And again, before you know it, you're feeling very comfortable and very relaxed and open enough to maybe do certain things with that guy. Because again, when it comes to women, we're very emotional based. And if somebody can make us feel like, you know, they're listening or they care or, you know, they're giving us certain attention that maybe we're not getting at home or maybe we are. It just really depends. Um, we can start to open up and become maybe a little bit too invested in that guy. And before you know it, he done got the draws dog and you don't even know what happened. So I'm going to go ahead and tell the ladies out there, you know, be very careful with who you are becoming too comfortable with, especially men. If you know that maybe you find this guy to be attractive or if you know that you really like him or maybe he even really likes you, keep your distance, have some boundaries and have some respect for your relationship because Again, one thing can lead to the, uh, to another, and before you know it, you're doing something that you will definitely regret after it happens, uh, especially if you do have a good thing at home. So just make sure that you're keeping your distance from, you know, people that you know are attracted to you or people that you are attracted to, and just keeping some kind of distance in between that because things can get very sticky very quickly, and we just don't have any time for any of that. So again, fellas, um, your woman or a woman could cheat due to a man being able to emotionally stimulate her in whatever way you know it could, it could be so many different avenues that a man can take in an attempt to you know stimulate your woman emotionally maybe um she's sharing certain things with that guy that maybe she's not getting from you at home and so he's like oh, okay well let me just do what she's not getting at home you know it, it, it's so many different factors that can go into it maybe she could confide into him that maybe um nobody ever understands her or nobody ever listens to her and nobody ever tries to uh, accommodate her. And maybe he starts to do certain things for her. And before you know it, she's emotionally invested and now she bent over. And so again, when it comes to our relationships, okay, talk to your partner. Okay. Talk, talk to your man, talk to your woman about what's going on. Try to try to fix that between each other. OK, before you start branching out and branching off, talking to, you know, people of the opposite sex. OK, try to do that first. Then the second step, counseling or therapy or maybe a couple that you trust. And then if all this fails, go ahead and bounce. But it is no need to be emotionally invested in somebody that you are not with. OK, so with that being said, let's move it along to the second thing on our list out of why women cheat. All right, you guys. So the second thing on our list is pretty obvious, you know, as a reason why a lot of women cheat. But, you know, in case you don't know, women can and do cheat out of spite and revenge. If she feels like maybe you're cheating on her or you're disrespecting her or you're neglecting her, she can say, you know what? Let me pull a you on you or let me teach you a lesson or let me show you that I have other men that are ready and willing to get in these draws, okay? So this can happen uh, maybe if your woman is feeling insecure about the relationship or within the relationship with you, and now she's like, well, you know, since you have all these women entertaining you or flirting with you, or maybe you're talking to different women, so on and so forth, let me go out here and explore my options too, or let me show you that you're not the only one. Let me show you. Let me let me go out here and, and prove that I indeed have many men out there lined up ready to pursue me, even sexually, okay? So, um, again, women can cheat out of revenge and out of spite, trying to prove a point, trying to make you feel like um, you have somebody that has a lot of options and that is able to replace you. You know, a lot of women can feel like they need to be able to show their man that they are not to be slept on. They are not to be played with. And the way that I can show my man that I am not to be slept on to play with is by going out here and sleeping with and playing with other men. Again, this is very childish. I would not recommend this. Um, I do not support this, condone this at all. But a lot of females can very much so feel like, okay, let me go ahead and see what else is out there. That way I can rub it into my man's face. <clears throat> That once again, I have other men out there that I could be with. Um, men out there want to be with me, and so again, let me go ahead and rub it in that you don't have to be the only one, you should be so lucky that you're with me, okay? Because I could be with him and him and him and him with no problem. So, again, women can cheat out of spite and revenge.
and ultimately showing and proving their quote unquote value on the dating scene or market just to try to maybe make you feel intimidated or a little bit insecure because maybe she's feeling intimidated and insecure about you and the women that maybe are pursuing you or the women that you, you know, are pursuing. And again, if you're out there cheating, fellas, stop, you know, stop. If you don't feel like you're being fulfilled at home, just go ahead and leave. So no need to be playing all of these childish games, trying to juggle and lie and hide. We just don't have time for that. Um, but nonetheless, once again, we can cheat out of spite and for Okay, reasons. you guys, let's move head along to the last and final thing on our list out of three reasons why women cheat. And the last and final thing on our list is they have no discipline. You know, I think it's important that I share this with the guys out there, okay? Women can be horny little dogs just like these savage guys out here, okay? Women can scope out somebody that they deem to be sexy or attractive and maybe he's flirting with her maybe he's giving her the eye maybe he just has a certain essence and energy that she likes and before you know it she's like girl i'm gonna let him get these draws dog so women can be out here plotting on the low like you know what i want to see what that be like okay they have no sense of self-discipline nothing of the sort right just like there can be men out there that are very impulsive when it comes to, you know, attractive women, you know, sexy women, appealing women, and then they want to pounce on it. Women can be the same way, you know? And if she's left to her own devices, I mean, things can happen, you know? And again, I think it's important to let you guys know that women can cheat for a whole bunch of other reasons outside of this or outside of the things that I'm, I'm listing. But I think it's important to also highlight the fact that you could be doing everything right, right? Um, it's not that you're not on your job or that you're a bad person or you're not doing what you need to do or you're not fulfilling her. It could be just that she's out here unruly, undisciplined. You know, it's just like, look, I like this. He's right here at this moment. I feel like he's attractive. I feel like we have some kind of chemistry and I want to go ahead and, and do the do. You know, this can happen. You guys do not have it in your mind that, you know, oh, well, my woman wouldn't do that to me because I'm perfect or my woman wouldn't do that to me because I'm everything that she's looking for. No, it's women out here, okay? I hate to burst the bubble. There's women out here to where it's just like, look, I'm out. I want to enjoy myself. I feel like he's attractive or I feel like he's, you know, somebody I can kick it with and they will kick it, okay? I've seen this. It's like, girl, what are you doing? But you got a good man at home. I girl. So just be on the lookout for that as well. Um, don't beat yourself up like because it could be guys out there to maybe they're dealing with a situation to where their woman has cheated on them and maybe it makes you question yourself or makes you feel like um maybe something is wrong with you or you did something wrong no it could just be that you're, you're dealing with a savage ass female that has no self-control and she's just out here you know and i would actually encourage you guys to i think you should break up with the type of chick okay that I, I don't know like she needs to be by herself for a moment to try to figure herself out, you know, get that out of her system. Something needs to, to happen, but you shouldn't be in a relationship to where you're like very impulsive and you don't mind just being out here willy nilly, unless you guys have an agreement, uh, like maybe an open relationship or whatever the case is. You know, if you have an agreement or an arrangement, that's fine. But if you're living with somebody to where you're trying to be monogamous and they're not, you know, ugh, I would go ahead and bow out gracefully because that could just put you in a whirlwind of, of problems and drama that you just do not need okay but you guys these are three reasons why women cheat let me know um if you learn something new let me know if these are some things that you've already been aware of and also don't be afraid to list some other reasons that you come up with as far as why women cheat but i love y'all i respect y'all and i'll see y'all in the next dope discussion uh again you guys y'all like the video share the video subscribe all right and shout out to all of our new crown head subscribers welcome to our nation and we'll see you guys in the next video. Much love. Peace.